Here is a 2024 Chevy Trax LT in jet black. We get a full refresh, which is longer, wider, more sleek, more interior room and cargo capacity. I'm Anthony from Hawkeye Rides. Only option is a front wheel drive for the new Trax. If you want all wheel drive and a couple different engine options, you gotta go to the Trailblazer, but the front fascia is more sleek. LED headlights and daytime runnings. The Active will have its own unique styling for the grill. It will have the black interior with the titanium chrome accents, whereas the RS will just have the black grill and unique badging inside, giving a sleek, sporty exterior for the RS or a muscular proportion layout for the Active. The chrome bars that go into the Chevy emblem and you get the matte black for the grill and the lower gets the satin aluminum. Underneath the hood packs a 1.2 liter turbocharged Ecotec three cylinder producing 137 horsepower and 162 pound-feet of torque. That's paired to a six-speed automatic transmission. Achieving 28 MPGs for the city and 32 MPGs for the highway, you're gonna get the matte black that's going to surround the fenders, standard 17-inch wheels. This is a gray insert. When you go up to the RS or the Active, it will change it to an 18 or 19-inch wheel. And behind these wheels, six pistons in the front. I'm just kidding but all of them will have the same suspension, a McPherson strut front and a torsum beam rear. The most safety features for Chevy is on the tracks. It's gonna include automatic emergency braking, forward collision alert, front pedestrian braking, forward distance indicator, lane keep assist with lane departure warning and Intella high beam. And normally I'm not a big fan of the matte black that's on the skirt, but it fits with the jet black. It makes it look more like a stealth design. Gloss black will be on top of the roof rails, 11 inches longer than the prior gen. It's no longer a box on wheels and it's about two inches wider than the prior gen. So it has that athletic approach on all four corners. The only thing that I dislike right off the top is we don't have a shark fin antenna. We got an RC antenna, which when you do a full refresh like this, considering all the safety you're getting and the styling elements, it's almost like they forgot about that. Lower roof spoiler gets the gloss black element and the lower trim gets the satin aluminum. It's a little bit longer than the Trailblazer, so it's kind of now the sweet spot between the Blazer and Trailblazer, unless you're wanting all wheel drive. Quick release, going into 25.6 cubic feet of storage. We have a little storage nook here on the side. Underneath the floor gets a spare tire. This is a pretty cool little thing. You see these usually in higher end cars like Land Rover Jaguar. It's a bag that opens up to give you a little bit more dividing space in which your cargo won't be running around everywhere. Split fold the rear bench at a 40-60 split and that will increase cargo to 54.1 cubic feet, which is 0.2 cubic feet more than the Trail Blazer. Six-way manual adjustment for the driver, four-way manual adjustment for the passenger, heated front seats, and the beauty about this car is look at the headroom and the leg room because it's wider and it's longer. It just makes it a lot more easy for everyone to climb in. 11 inch diagonal touchscreen with Wi-Fi hotspot, wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, Sirius XM AM FM streaming Bluetooth audio. Put it into reverse, we get a reverse camera with trajectory. It's driver focused setup with the air vents more tilted to the driver. We get the blue that's going to go around the circular vents. And we also have this mesh pattern that goes onto the driver's side and a little bit right here onto the passenger. And then it just goes to a satin aluminum. Single climate control, USB 12 volt, an area for a larger cell phone. It has a option for a wireless charger. Gloss black with the Chevy badging on the gear lever. The key fob for the new tracks. And you can put it right here where you can put your smartphone, another little storage area, and it's gonna be a little bit more sporty. It's a deep storage pocket, a lot more cleaned up than the prior gen. Steering wheel, it's leather wrap, multi-function, adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, the stocks, and an eight inch gauge cluster, no auto dimming rear view mirror, four speaker standard RS1, gets six speakers. The dashboard and the door panel integrate in together and it has a nice sport design cue. It's going to be soft here, it's gonna be a little bit more firm here. 
one touch down for the windows, the gloss black with that pattern, and a medium sized storage pocket with a couple beverage holders carved out. For the back seats, headroom and legroom. There is no storage behind any of the front seats. You get a little storage box with USB ports. And the door panel is gonna be all everyday materials. They even strip out the little bit here that would be a little bit more soft. So storage pocket, you can fit a beverage. Slide over to the center, the floor is completely flat. With the seat back, I am against it, but I still have feet space. I'm gonna share a little bit of butt and shoulder space, but because it's wider and longer, it's doable. Headroom is still good sitting into the center over six foot. Now this is the base engine option for the Trailblazer, the 1.2 liter turbocharged Ecotec three cylinder with 137 horsepower and 162 pound-feet of torque. Six-speed automatic transmission is something that's great because if you're comparing this against the new HRV, CVT. Comparing it against the CRV, CVT. Some models of Toyota can also be CVT. Clearance is good. It feels wide and sporty, especially in the cockpit. I mean, for the driver's side, the way everything is driver focused, it almost feels like a little sports car. The prior gen was getting a little bit old and it just did not have that wow factor. Because you're getting all the safety features and all of the technology that's implemented, it's really hard to find a vehicle this inexpensive that looks good and that's functional for a daily use. Maneuverability you're gonna see right off the top. And a little turbo goes, front wheel drive is the only option, which can be a disadvantage for some people. But when you're in this price, I think front wheel drive is perfectly fine. If you need all wheel, go to the Trailblazer and you get a couple of different engine options also. The steering is light, so for maneuverability purpose, it is good. Torsum beam rear is not going to be as athletic, but again, you have to consider what you're getting as a value package. That's gonna take me to some pros and cons. Starting off with the pros, you get the available 11 inch touch screen. The cockpit, like I said, it's very sporty. The seats are still comfortable. Over five inches longer than the Trailblazer, six cubic feet more than the prior gen. It's just a vehicle that is more practical for a day in and day out use good mpgs and a lot of storage cubbies found throughout the interior of the cabin on the cons only option is a front wheel drive like i said it could be a pro or a negative only one engine option so it doesn't matter if you go up to the rs or the active the exterior can look more stylish but even at a base trim to spend a few thousand dollars more, you can justify it because it's gonna look sporty-er, but you can always do a chrome delete yourself and it'll be just as inexpensive and just as sporty with the jet black exterior. Chevy went six speed instead of a CVT, which is a pro for everyone that is against CVT transmissions. And it's still playful in the interior with the circular air vents, you get the blue around them, like I said, they did a great job with the sport heritage, going to some comparable rivals like Toyota and Honda. This is going to be a bit of a bargain deal because you're going to spend a few thousand dollars more in which you're getting the same amenities here and you're getting the same capabilities here with better MPGs. Going against Mazda, the CX-30 Turbo is going to cost a little bit more money, but it's gonna be a little bit more fun. You're gonna have the same problem with the rear suspension though, because they went torsum beam. There isn't really any blind spots here either. And if you're considering the Buick, well, they did a full refresh also, and they have new logos. It's an awesome vehicle. I'll put the video link at the end so you can check it out, but it's the same platform. So if you're just wanting to spend a little bit more money, that would be the way you would go. Braking, it's a light vehicle, so I will go through the front windscreen. Sound deadening, it's pretty good. We have 17 inch wheels, they didn't go crazy. Comfort in the ride is also good. You don't feel a lot of the imperfections. And the turbo just wants to go whenever you push it, so it has a pretty decent amount of power. Even though it's wide, you can still fit through. That's also a good aspect because when you're looking for these everyday driving vehicles, you want a bargain deal. 
You want it to be easy and not so wide on the road, even though it has increased in the width, but it's still not that bad. Turn radius at a stop point, more or less. It's gonna get about two lanes. Don't expect nothing crazy, it's zero to 60. But let's see what it does. And the funny thing about this is you have the RPM right in front of you and it's going like, it just makes you feel like you're in a sports car. Going back to some cons, everything is going to be hard materials. The back seat gets stripped out of everything. There's no armrest, but you do feel the air circulate all around you. And it's hot today, especially because it just rained. And if it rains and doesn't continuously rain for a little bit, it becomes a lot more humid in the state of Florida. As you get up to a higher speed, it does filter in through the interior, the exterior sound, but it's still composed. I mean, we have adaptive cruise control and lane assist and we're just a hair over twenty thousand dollars where are you going to get that even ford is going to be more money volkswagen none of the vehicles are going to be in this price category but let me know your thoughts in the comments and if you're new to the channel consider subscribing check out the next video merchandise website and instagram leave a comment and a like and i'd like to thank regal chevy for giving us this 2024 chevrolet Trax lt for our car review